Gladesmoor Community School are really thrilled and delighted to be associated with Springboard because the opportunities that it has provided for our young people are absolutely life-changing. It all began quite a few years ago when we put one student forward for the scheme and it transformed his life. There is no question about that. The opportunities that he was afforded was something that we couldn't have imagined. And we really wanted to seize upon that opportunity for more of our young people. And now we proudly have 12, 15 every year managing to get placements at boarding schools. They gain so much from it, not just a quality education post-16 that leads them on to university and, and the doors that that opens, but also in terms of the confidence that it builds in them. The young people develop a self-belief and also see a much wider view of the world. They experience things and opportunities they would never normally have a chance to encounter. And they also bring it back then to our young people here at this school. They can share with younger pupils this great sense of aspiration and they are testament to what can be achieved by hard work and absolutely positive attitudes. All of this is a benefit through the Springboard Scheme. We hope this will continue for many more years and that many of our children from economically disadvantaged backgrounds have a life-changing opportunity. Hello, my name is Susanna and I am a candidate for Springboard 2021. Hello, my name is Kervan and I'm a candidate for Springboard 2021. Hello, I'm Samira and I'm a candidate for Springboard 2021. I live with both my grandparents and my parents in quite a small apartment, so as you can imagine, there's not much of a space for me to study and to be myself, and there's not much privacy. And that's why I think Springboard is such an amazing opportunity for me to you know, become independent and learn more about myself and actually have a space of my own where I can study and you know, learn more about my subjects, which I am very passionate about. So. Yeah, I'm very excited to start. I was born into a family that was quite big. In my immediate family, we are a family of six. However, because of how cramped we are, we've been moved into a council association flat in an area with quite a high crime rate. For example, just a few days ago, someone around the area got stabbed and mostly every night there are gunshots that you can hear during the night. So opportunities like Springboard are close to none and considering how economically challenged we are, it's not exactly something I could go for easily, but with the assistance of the programme, I've been able to push myself and get the recognition that I wanted. Coming from a family of eight in a low-income council estate, it's, um, opportunities like Springboard would not occur and it's been a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. I actually learn about Springboard in Year 7 from a fellow Year 11 student from choir and um, I was very interested first uh, about the idea and I decided to do some more research and about how we can apply and I completely fell in love with the idea. I think it's such an amazing opportunity and I definitely encourage you to go ahead and do it if you think it, it's something that will benefit you. The way that I was introduced to Springboard was through a friend and she was going through the process last year and I was able to keep up to date with how she was doing, how she felt about it and what exactly she was doing. So I already had an idea of what I could be doing in the future if I apply for Springboard. When I was asked if I wanted to be separated from my home and were live in a boarding school, I wasn't sure exactly because I wasn't, there was a sense of nervousness for me. However, as I went through the programme and as I got more comfortable and warm to the idea, I realised that I wanted to do it. Um, how I was introduced was in Tutor, we got a yellow sheet and we were asked, if you want to do this, um, sign up and give it to your head of year. And so I took it home and I was reading through it and I was like, oh, this is interesting. And um, it's a cool experience and it's one of the best decisions I've made for myself. 
Um, in September, I am starting at a school called Rugby near Coventry and truly living up to its name. It's where the sport rugby first um, came into existence. Uh, someone called William Webb Ellis was a student there who inspired the first sport, the first game of the sport, and um, I've seen the campus and it just looks amazing. In September, I will be starting in BDOS College, which is in Petersfield, and actually the school was made in reaction to the limitations of your conventional Victorian schools. I'll be attending the Lays in Cambridge and I'll be studying Biology, Chemistry and Maths. Fun fact for all my mathematicians, the guy that solved for Matt's last theorem went there, his name is Sir Andrew Wells, and I think having someone to look up to really motivates you to aspire to do great things. I think the main thing I am looking forward to is meeting everyone there. I think um, it's such a diverse place from people all over the world and from literally all sorts of different backgrounds. And um, also the club activities, there's a lot of clubs in including um, different societies, stuff like music, stuff like um, art, drama, sports, everything. So, you know, there's a wide variety that suits literally everyone there. And um, <clears throat> also something called Duke of Edinburgh, which is kind of like a camping thing, which uh, I really look forward to starting. I think what excites me the most and what I'm most looking forward to is the fact that even though in secondary school there are so many subjects that I've enjoyed, which I've had to narrow down to four for college, that I'm able to do these subjects for you know clubs, enrichment, activities, without the element of being examined or assessed. So now I can both do things that I enjoy and things that I want to work towards without feeling stressed. Um, I'm most looking forward to the sports aspect. Um, coming from a state school, there weren't really that many opportunities to do things that I enjoyed. However, the thing with boarding school is there are so many activities ranging from football, climbing, as well as for the creative people, the, um, the arts such as drama, theatre, singing, anything that you like. Um, I think the thing that worries me the most is how I'll be able to fit in with everybody else. Because everyone there, or mostly everyone there, comes from a rich background, you know. Um, and I come from Tottenham, so, you know, there's a very big difference in uh, social understanding and whatnot. But I do think um, it's going to be an amazing experience and I am ready to get over any sort of problems that arise. I think the thing that f makes me feel the most nervous is the fact that even though it is a bursary, which makes it ironic, it's the fact that I might have to struggle or might struggle keeping up with other students in terms of finances and trends. Because even though they're, you know, they've come from well backgrounds and they've come from families that are quite wealthy, I'm not exactly the same considering I'm on a scholarship. So I might struggle even though I'm on an allowance, but because I'm on an allowance, I can't exactly waste my money or spend it on things that might not benefit me well. What I want to get out of my boarding placement is my own sense of independence. So um, I want to learn more about myself and more about what type of person I am and to grow into a quite mature adult. And um, also all sorts of different opportunities that come with going to boarding and, you know, university especially. Overall, I think what I want to get out of my boarding placement is the personal growth. I say that I'm a sort of person who tends to doubt himself a lot and I never exactly recognise my own efforts. So being in an environment where I'm not almost but sort of have to fend for myself or be more independent, where I kind of have to push myself and force myself to do it, would be best for me. My goals for the future are to go to medical school and become a doctor, hopefully. I want to attend the Russell Group University such as UCL, Imperial, Oxford hopefully and really I feel like boarding school has better connections to industries and I'll be able to really understand what I'm delving into. Uh, my aspirations for the future are that I definitely want to go to university that's been on my mind forever and in doing so I would be the first person in my family to go to university and um, I really want to get there and achieve that goal and um, I'm still not sure what I want to study at university, but I know I still have time to decide. But for now, I am um, kind of on the path of becoming a lawyer. So we'll see what happens in the future. In terms of my aims, my aspirations for the future, 
I'm not exactly sure what I want to do because I'm an ambitious person. So all my interests and things that I look forward to change a lot. But at the moment, I know that for sure I would like to go to university, preferably abroad, since I would know how it feels to be separated and not exactly be in my own home environment, which would make me more comfortable working um, elsewhere. And I think at the moment I really want to do medical work and things in the medical field because that's what really excites me and it's the thing that I would like to work towards. And maybe at, in the future I could be a doctor. The whole process this year was even more daunting than I had anticipated. There was stress from school and stress from home life, being stuck at home all day. However, I pushed through, I kept myself motivated and I'm really happy that I, I'm here now. I'm going to start my school this September and it's going to be great. Anything is possible.